are we all doing tonight? I am your friendly neighborhood Prax. Welcome to the channel. Usually Sunday nights are Witcher Roads Home, and we are in our final season of that. However, we've still got one player who's traveling, and there's some important things that can't really happen. And we decided, you know what? We need some island vibes tonight. So, um, pirate shenaniganry one shot. <laughs> And it's also a great opportunity to show off uh, StorySynth, which is a platform that I publish my, a couple of my um, itch games on, and it's a lot of fun. And what that means is that uh, we can show off how this works, and you know, you can see what you think. Um, I am your friendly, like I said, I am Prax, I use she, her pronouns, we're gonna go around, let everybody introduce themselves, they don't have characters yet, and we're gonna explain everything as it happens and it's easy and cool so why don't we start directly underneath me on the overlay with somebody we haven't seen in a while hi billy how are you it's so good to see you hello um don't mind me just looking up new zoom backgrounds um oh lindy's is cool the standard the one zoom comes, one yeah it's the standard yeah. zoom one yeah i think i might I think I might. I think I'm gonna do that. It'll save me some time. <laughs> um, uh, I am. I'm doing great. I broke my phone for the first time ever um, this past weekend. It had a flippy case on it, and I fell off the table. The flippy case came open, and it hit a chair. Like right, the the probability, mm -hmm. the sheer probability yeah. that it landed the way that it did is. Um, mind-boggling and so now i think that there's just a conspiracy with samsung and gravity um I, you uh, know i was just in south korea like yeah. six months ago and i can confirm there is a conspiracy with samsung and gravity magic and gravity yeah was, it, was that dunamancy mm, i don't know that's fancy and above me um but you know if we got if we got anybody out there watching that's that knows people on the Dunamancy or the Samsung. Graviturgy. That's what it was. Graviturgy. Yeah. Oh, that sounds way cooler. <laughs> um, any of those, if you guys know uh, in chat, if you guys know any of those people that are in either of those circles and can confirm, um, I would greatly appreciate it because then then I'm, you know, can either get like at least a free repair or uh, maybe even a replacement phone. And hopefully that's covered by the insurance that I have on my phone. Um, other than that, I'm doing uh, I'm doing good. Sorry, what was the question? No, just say hi and how you are. You know, oh. you're, you're back. Oh yeah, I'm I'm excited. I I missed all of these people very much. That's good. Uh, then we should jump over to uh, Trooper. Hey yo, how you doing? How's life going for you tonight? Uh, Life is going very well for me. I am just, uh, you know, going to see if there's a tweet. If so, I'll retweet it. That sort of a thing and all that goodness. Uh, but I'm doing well. And um, my shoulder hurts, but that's just life. Uh, you know, it'll get better. That's it. That's me. Okay. I'm sorry your shoulder hurts. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, hey, Wendy. <laughs> Would you like to Hi. round out the wonderful friends that are here tonight? I sure would like to round out. I had like something about being a square in mind for a pun. I was like, oh, uh, nah, I'm not that much of a square. So uh, yeah, no, I will round us out. Um, hi, I'm Lindy, and I love these beautiful faces that are surrounding me on this screen. Uh, my day has been uh, long and full of games with other friends. Um, not streamed, but you know, it's... You know you have good people when you wake up at 6 a.m. for them, is what I'm going to say. And um, I took a nap today, and that nap was delightful, and it saved me from many a yawn at this moment in time. Um, and now I'm ready to be a pirate or not a pirate. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just, I'm excited to be here. And uh, if anyone wants to weed my garden for me, you're welcome to it. That's That's what I have to say. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. But tonight we are going to play actually a game that I wrote. You can find it over on Itch. And if you uh, get the game on Itch, you also get the um, both the physical game with physical cards because it's a Descended from Queen game and the story synth um, setup. 
story synth is a really great uh website uh where you can everyone is now everyone can see the same thing that we are we can and because of that we all get to see everything that's there and i'm just going to tweak things just a little all right there we go there we go all right um so all the players are on the same um, website we can all see the same thing and it's the same card system which is really great it makes it easy to play it makes it easier to play um with your friends online um it does have a little menu at the top of uh, button you can't quite see on the overlay um, which gives you the options for um, to share the URL, restart the game, uh, play the X card, everybody can, and or immediately go to the um, final question, which will use, you know, if you want to time the game or if you have a set limitation or you have somebody who needs to leave at a certain time, we want to make sure that everyone gets to enjoy the whole game and play all the way through, we can just click the end button when that arrives. Um, you also have a little explanation on the setting, um, which we will read through and when we get into it. And you have important characters, which are a breakdown of the important people that you will meet in this game, or not, depending on how things go. They're just going to be referenced. Um, Descended from the Queen is a card-based uh, game. There is no GM. We're going to have fun. There will be shenaniganry. Uh, the last couple times I've played this game have led to interesting developments. Would you agree with that statement, Lindy? You're muted, so. Yes, I would wholeheartedly agree. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get started. Um, you can't quite see it over on the overlay, but there are buttons that say next card and um, previous card. And we're going to go to the next card. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around um, in the same order we did introductions. And each of us is going to read the card as it comes up. Um, so I'll start. Wait, what? What? Oh no. no! Error 404. Image not found. No, no, no. Why? Yar, oh, yar. The, the text is there, but the picture isn't. Which is... Which is... We didn't cool. test this beforehand. We did! You changed the text to white? No, we didn't scroll through any of the cards beforehand. Oh. But I've tested it before. Not tonight. <laughs> Of course it does this on the night we're doing this live. All right, everybody, give me you, three you, minutes. You, yeah, just three minutes. Three dun, minutes. Dun, we're going to go to the starting dun, dun, yeah, yeah. We'll, dun, 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 we'll be right back. We'll be right back. And it'll give right me time to, to retweet. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We'll be right back, everybody. Bye-bye.
Hello, everyone. <laughs> we fixed everything. Why is it not showing on? And we have hats. <laughs> and we have hats. It's the hats yes. that fixed everything. <laughs> yes. It w if, if it weren't for the hats, it wouldn't have worked, you know, but we, we got the hats working. Because gravity magic. Yep. Gravit 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 Dramaturgy. Gravit All right. Yep. We fixed mm -hmm. everything. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, but lucky for me, it's a really easy fix. Uh, it just was the online image wasn't hosting correctly. So it's an easy fix. I fixed it. We're good. Hi. We're going to play Captain Blood's Odyssey. It's a game I wrote. It's a game you can find on Itch. And we're playing on StorySynth, which is a great platform. And now if I click the button, you have a new card. <laughs> and everyone should be able to read it. One player should hit next to move on to the next card. And then Billy. <laughs> click the button. And then read the card. Mm. Billy when a seems player, very suspicious. When a player draw, I, I have my headphones on. They're hanging off my back. So if I move my neck, they'll fall off. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm Michael Keaton Batmanning right now. Um, nice, nice. When a player draws a prompt card, they have three options. I see it. I see the whole thing. Trooper. Mm -hmm. Read it aloud and answer it from their character's viewpoint. Lindy. Pass it to the next player in turn order, saying, I'd like to hear your answer to this question. Prax. Uh, tap the X card button in the menu or otherwise indicate the card is being X carded and draw another to replace it. Billy. Billy. The player who answers a question card may do so as simply or as elaborately as they wish. Other players may make suggestions or ask follow-up questions, and the one who drew the card can accept those suggestions or answer those questions to whatever extent they prefer. Uh, that's me. And I'm actually yes. going to change my, my, my Zoom so we're all in the right order. A player who receives a pass oh, card smart. may answer it, right? X card it or pass it the same way the original player did. The original player's turn is now over, and the player who received the pass card's turn uh, will be over when they pass or answer it. X carding a card does not end a player's turn. They draw the next card and continue. Players can also X card prompts that are drawn by other players or any other content that arises during the game. The X card removes content from the game and does not need to be explained or justified by the one who used it. Hmm. Take turns answering, passing, or Xing prompts until you come across the Do You Accept England's Offer question card. Billy, that's you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> Uh, the do you accept England's offer question card is shuffled into the bottom 20% of this deck of 50 prompt cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When the do you accept England's offer card is played, each player answers the question in turn and the game ends. If you ever feel that your story is ready for the climax of the final question, you may click the final question button in the menu. This menu, this menu, this button, this button will take you immediately to the Do You Accept England's Offer question card. Immediately! The X card was originally developed by John Stravropoulos and is adapted for use in this game. To learn more about the X card, visit the X card. Which is hot link. Not the X files. No, not, no, the, X not files. the X files. Nah. It's very different. Setting. The Caribbean, 1688. Billy. The sea is rich with Spanish galleons, French frigates, and British merchant ships. And these ships make for ripe pickings for the pirates under the command of the infamous Captain Peter Blood. Yeah, are crew members who escaped. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. No, uh-uh. Trooper, you have seen this movie. You have watched this. You know who Aeroflynn is. Do not shame 
the epicness. No. We are crew members who escaped feudal <laughs> slavery with Captain Blood a mere three years ago. Since then, you have sailed the waters of the Caribbean, attacking any ship that caught her in the captain's eye. But the political changes in Europe have begun to have an effect even in the warm waters of the Caribbean. Rumors of war between France and England have been growing daily. A new king sits on the English throne. William of Orange is much more savvy. Uh, well, he's much more savvy than his father-in-law, James II, who sentenced you to your penal servitude. England needs ships and aid <laughs> to fight the French and is willing to deal with anyone who could help them. If England calls for aid, will you accept their pardon and sail under an English flag once more? Dun, dun, and dun! Now, for your story! Let us begin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> gets to start. Oh boy, here we go. Why do you fear another member of the crew? Let me make, make, make right here notes. <clears throat> well, you see... I fear most members of the crew, because I'm just the cabin boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, already? <laughs> you knew what was going to happen. <laughs> You're very adult and intimidating and scary pirates. You know, a job's a job. Okay. Do what I can. Anyone have any questions? Can we just can we just call it right now? Can this be the game? <laughs> no. Can can Lindy, right now? Just can, can we just can this be it? Like, let's seal this up in a time capsule <laughs> and put it away and start a brand new game. I I have I have a question. I have a question. Certainly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, you you feel. But is there a particular member of the crew you fear more than others? That's a good point. That's a good question. It depends on the day, really. Whoever's <laughs> yelled at me the most recently, typically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have a question. All right. Um, why is it that you fear them? Well, I mean, have you seen them? No. In like ship to ship combat, it's pretty, it's pretty intense to watch. I like hunt behind a barrel, and they're like doing all sorts of pirate things, and I'm I'm just here to put to for a job, you know. The, 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 I mean, they're kind of scary pirates. I have a question. My mother was killed by pirates. <laughs> I have a question. Oh, oh, yes. Cabin boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't afraid of me, are you? No, sir. Answer correctly. Good. Good. If anyone asks, I'm your favorite. Yes, sir. Good. Good. On that note. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the game, everybody. Happy Sunday. <laughs> we here for shenaniganry. I said there would be shenaniganry. Yeah. You did not lie. Like, it was, it was that question just inspired my answer. I was like, oh, I have the perfect answer for this. <laughs> Is that, was that the, was shenaniganry the term for gravity magic? Mm, possibly. Um, maybe. My specialty. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think so. Yes. 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 What? Uh, Prax, that's you. Yeah. yeah. What do you dream about? What do you dream about England? Um. Look, I'm gonna lean hard into it. Hi, everyone. I'm official. This is your. This is your warning that I'm going to lean hard into certain things. Uh, the violent overthrow and death of the English crown. Mm. Uh, All right. 
I take uh, it, uh, I take it you're not, uh, English, then. What gave you that impression? I mean, I should it. say that it is entirely right that my name is in any way, shape or form not connected to English. My people are not English. My home isn't in England. And I would much rather England die violent. Well, the English crown die violently in a fire. Not in real life. Do not take this out of context. I am not wishing <laughs> a violent death on the current King of England. But if he got his people the fuck out of Ireland, it'd be great. You're not in Ireland, though. No, I'm stuck here, here in the bloody Caribbean. Uh, Caribbean seems pretty nice to me. But you can't deny that it's bloody and it's bloody hot. That's why it's nice. I mean, British Isles are many things, but they're damp and cold. England, wifey. Ireland's got pleasant weather. Mm. Kevin boy. <laughs> Do you want the violent overthrow of England? Is that what the crew wants, sir? Mm. I, I don't know much about politics, sir. Money. Nine. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Nine is old enough to work. I started not, working not, when I was five. Politics. I did too, sir. <laughs> it's not on this ship, sir. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Captain Blood has got a very strong line about, you know, child endangerment and don't know what this child is doing here, but apparently they're stuck, so whatever. Captain Boy's been between ages 8 and 16, aren't with the qualification? <laughs> Nine is old enough to drink, old enough to sail. I don't know, can you see over the bar yet, child? As of, as of last month, I could. Barely. Then I, then I, you can see, you have a drink. That's the qualification where I'm from. Can you see over the bar? If you can't, then pff. you can't see what they're pouring. Don't drink it. Billy. What about England do you dream of most? Or I'd have to say, what about England do you dream of most? I, from what I remember, I'd have to say, the muffins. Ooh. They did have good muffins. They did. I, Muffins once it brightened my mood for a whole day. Feel like uh, the muffins of England are the best muffins in the world. Of all the muffins I had, yeah. But English aren't even talking about muffins when they talk about muffins. They're talking about bread. Still, it's the best. I was told it was a muffin, and I believed him. Because I better. believe people that tell me when things are a muffin. Well, I mean, I know the Muffin Man, and he told me as well. Yeah, oh. uh, the, one on, the one on Drury Lane. Yes. He's a liar. Is he an cheap. expert on muffins? He's like well, a he's muffin, muffin expert. Man. Oh, yes, I think so. After or all. was he a man made out of muffins? Like. I hope not. Get right soggy be, then. Yeah, it would be bad in the rain. Of all the men I've eaten, none of them were made of muffins. Uh, that's probably mm -hmm. why you're so big and strong. You know, protein. Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, well, I, mean, I sent a portion of my cut to Europe. To whom am I sending it? <laughs> well, uh, that's a pretty easy question to answer. Let's see. Uh, 
sending it to, to my older brother, uh, Lord Fauntleroy, big Lord Fauntleroy. Uh, you know, we, we had a bit of uh, trouble under the old monarch, but I'm hoping the new one might be a bit um, uh, more understanding of fairness and all of that it might be uh, the Fondleroy family might be reinstated to our former glory uh, and what glory was that sir well uh, we had uh, quite a few grounds and estates uh, so uh, I'd say I mean I don't want to brag but uh we had a, it's one of the smallest, but we had a, a, a barony sort of constrained a little bit, but uh, it was decent sized uh, enough. Uh, it was up on the far north of the coast and all of that. Uh, on the uh, western coast, rather. It's, it's a good, good place. But no, what there was, was it called? Politics. There. Uh, Fauntleroy. Fauntleroy. Yeah. Yeah. It's the barony of Fauntleroy. The noobs call themselves after their pieces of property, don't you know? That's because we are a property. So I thought you were just a works. knob. No, it's actually noble. You, you missed two words. You may not be able to read so well. I can read I multiple read languages, thank you very much. Wasn't wrong in my previous statement, though. Out the L. So what is your brother doing with all this money you're sending him? Well, uh, we're trying to go and get ourselves. Well, now that we have a new king, who knows? We might be able to go and get a uh, uh, a hearing with the new king and get ourselves reinstated. But we have a lifestyle and whatnot to keep up petitions. Uh, there have been lots of petitions to try to get me back uh, to the homeland and pardoned and all of that. I was uh, uh, accused of wrongdoing inappropriately. I was uh, I was framed, as it were, innocent. You see, uh, yeah, that's true. It's true. So, bribery. No, it's. Uh, costs money to get hearings and all of that so nonetheless try to keep the family in good spirits and get me a hearing so i can be forgiven uh, you know my innocence proven and uh be brought back into the fold hopefully my family name uh re polished off a little bit mm. that's, that's yeah. very interesting um see the question that was asked was, you send a portion of your cut to Europe, um, you're getting paid? Aye, we all get paid. We all get Nobody the same Nobody told me. Who do I see about getting paid? You gotta to talk to the quartermaster. You get a certain uh, amount based on ev everybody gets an equal share after every take, and ev um, plus, of course, you got shot. And then you get a little bit more because you got shot. It was part of the Accords of Brotherhood that we, the captain read. We all signed uh, it. He was there. You push a mark. what? I, I don't remember we really, signing we were anything. really drunk that day. He was very drunk, as a matter of fact. We were slightly uh, celebratory. So, so um, you, you don't just do this for free, then? No. No. For money. Oh, stay back. Oh. Um. I forget how I asked that. I'm sure the quartermaster has been holding your cut for you. Well, if it was a big deal, I wouldn't want to talk to the quartermaster, probably the halfmaster or the full master.
Right. Right. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, don't ask. What is bright? Is hold on. Let me. Can you step to the side real quick? Okay. One. More than one. Great, you're doing grand. That's more than one. Mm -hmm. That was indeed more than one. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> Rose, it's more go. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it is. Why do I dream of France? Well, you see, oh, that's, no. where me, that's where my father's from. <laughs> oh. Where in France are you? French. I've never met him, but my mum says he's in, he's from France. And so I'm saving up my money so I can get, you know, get on a ship one day and, and, and try to meet him. You know, the French are, they eat smelly cheeses. Says the Englishman. Yeah, our cheese is the best cheeses in the entire world. Across the globe. Mm -hmm. Please come. Oh. <laughs> you gonna go. say that? <laughs> it was going to be real bad. I'm glad it got there. Go. Go. Where are you going to cut the cheese? Oh, no. If you cut the cheese, you'll know. I was just going to say that our uh, cheese comes from cows, sometimes goats. Oh, sheep as well. It's all sorts of cheeses. Mm hmm. I'm always having to fight the rats off the cheese in the ship. Also, diseases, but that's a different matter altogether. Not from the cheese, that comes from the rats. That's why I have to fight them. Exactly. Oh, Is it rats. true what they say do. about the early bird gets the cheese? No, the early bird gets the worm. The second mouse gets the cheese there. What is the it's, first mouse? It's get? true, because sometimes I'm fighting the first rat, and then the second rat comes and he gets the cheese while I'm fighting off the first one. Uh... But, you know, maybe I'll get to try some smelly French cheese in France one day. I hope uh... not. You don't want to go to France. You want to stay here I, with us. I, I do want to meet my father one day. Bah. Bah. Bless you. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So I got a question. Did your fine, lovely mother, sainted mother, ever tell you where exactly in France her father is from? Oh, yes. She said he was in Paris. In Paris? Mm. Fancy place, ain't it? That's what that's what she told me. He said he what? was a um a, a lawyer. What's that? I don't really know. Something to do it's with expensive. lots of reading. Providing <laughs> legal support and argumentation. They get prepared to argue in front of courts. Getting paid to argue sounds like a fine established position, don't it? I mean, I, I'm, I'd not rather argue with anyone. I'm rather non-confrontational myself. But, you know, if I have to make a case to get to, you know, Paris and all that, I will. Did your sainted mother give you any information about your father, like his name? Oh, yeah, he, he, she sure did. His name is Francois Pierre Jean Luc Van Damme. <laughs> uh, he's also, he's Dutch as well, is he? That's important to know. French, Dutch, I don't really know. She just said he was a lawyer in Paris, and that was his name. <laughs> that seems like way too many names. That's what I 
Mama said it. She said it, it's a fancy man thing. I wonder if your uh, father is really the king of England, uh, France. King of France, maybe. I think he's got a different name. Yeah, it is Louis. Like Louis, yeah, that was it. So your father's name is Louis? No, that's the no, king of France. Yeah. He really excited that he was the king. But he's a lawyer. Maybe he's spoken to the king. I hear kings and parents fans don't last very long before their heads roll. Seems strange. Well, if we get into war with France, certainly their heads will roll and we go to victory. Sailing about, destroying French ships. What do you mean, we? England. Why did we get with no. war with France? Well, I've heard rumors. Aye. There might be war with France coming up soon. And, and you pirates. said we. We like. We're pirate. We won't. Well, uh, well, it depends on what the captain does, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, but see, we all get to vote. That's what the great things about being a pirate. We you get, get to, to vote? Yes, you get to vote. Mm. I've never voted. Yes, you did. You voted you... twice last time about the extra yeah, grog. It's drunk real. We're not a lot drunk at the time. Are you sure? Aye. You did. I vote for extra grog, and then I vote for extra grog even more. Yes, it was two votes. Cabin boy, is that true? We we do get votes, I. Have I voted? I. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. Maybe you should lay off the rum a bit. Maybe Just well. a suggestion. Maybe you should lay off the rum a bit. Sorry. All right. Watch out. He might keel haul you, cabin boy. I don't want to be keel hauled. Why? No, we're not going to do that. I don't even know what keel haul means. We just tie somebody to live to the keel and they'll go, you know, under the water and they'll let them suffer. And they're not going to do that to the cabin boy. Do you know how much effort that is to go put somebody down on a keel? He's too small. It wouldn't work. So glad I'm not worth the effort. <laughs> Wait, whose turn is it? It's <laughs> yours. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. It is yours. Uh, why do you crave the captain's attention? Uh, ooh. ooh. Because I respect him as a fine Irishman and a good doctor. Uh, side note, yes, I know a lot about these characters. And if you need to know more about the characters, you can find the important characters card. Like Captain Blood, the former doctor, now leader of the pilot pirate fleet. He's also an Irishman in England at the time. Uh, uh, Captain Colonel Bishop. Because... Colonel Bishop, the governor of Jamaica in charge with hunting pirates. King James II, king of England, who sold all the players into penal slavery in response to the 1865... 18-6... Wait, that's wrong. It should be 1685 rebellion. I'll fix that. Um, king William of Orange husband of Mary, daughter of James the second, who is made king of England when James is ousted. <sighs> so, uh, why do you crave... Uh, he's a fine Irishman whose respect I desire. Why? Mm. Have you seen the man with his shirt off? Spinning oh. through the air on the lines, prime. He's just that attractive. Someone's got a bit of a fancy for our captain. And I don't deny it! Well, now it's said. It's official. It's, it's out there. It's out there now. Aye. Everybody knows it. And? It, well, does somebody might get know? jealous. Yeah, does the captain know? Don't know. Was what they tell told him? anyone but us? Not usually. I don't talk to my... Well, I mean, I do talk to a bunch of other folk. Not really a lot of people who would talk to the captain, though. I mean, if you want to, you can. I don't really care. 
Don't going to deny it, but it's also not something I'm going to force on his attention for him. What are you doing to Crave to show the captain that you want his attention? I try to do the best that I can in murdering folk. Are you good? I quite like using a dagger and preferably to stab through the fourth and fifth ver rib through the back on the left hand side. Silent, deadly, easy in and out. When you're stabbing people sometimes and you hit them in the lung, does like all the air rushes out at once? Does it ever make like a fart sound? Not usually. In my head it does. A very interesting mind, my friend. Usually on sleep talk. If you look hard enough, everything's a butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do know it's a grand unit of measurement for alcohol. That's a butt load. Exactly, ain't it? <laughs> and the butt of a weapon is also very useful. Butt of a knife, butt of a gun. Right upside the left temporal, right here, on the left side of the skull. Guaranteed. But I'm specifically talking about where, like, your lower back and your upper leg meet. Oh, you mean your arse? The butt. It's the new word all these kids are slinging around. It's true. Timothy would know. Timothy the French. Timothy would know. Timothy the French is up in all of the latest slang. Tell the young try. people. I'm learning some French. Whenever we go to port, there's a nice lady. And she taught me to say things like Cebu play and. Cebu <laughs> Cebu play. And bonjour. What's that mean? I mean, that one means hello. But see but if you play is, is when you're looking at a great vista across the sea and it's you're so full of joy that you play like an instrument or something. Like a like a little concertina. Just playing a concertina, you look out over the sea. You have a beautiful view. That's what the see if you play means. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure he was saying s'il vous plaît, which is, you know, something entirely different. Silver plate? Oh. Play it's you. Oh, okay, let's see. You were grievously injured once in place <gasps> of the captain. Why do you regret it? Why do I regret it? Hmm. That is a question that was asked of you, sir. Don't forget, you can always pass if you do not have it. <laughs> oh no, oh no, this is rich. I, I was grievously injured and I regret it because I don't have any limbs. <laughs> so you can't do the limbo? No. No, or the arm Actually, button. he's quite good at the limbo, but we have to lay him down first, so he'll just slide him under. <laughs> I regret it because I, all the joys I used to have, I don't have any more. But he feels bad. So it keeps me on the ship. Maybe that's why I haven't been getting paid. No, usually you get paid extra for every uh, limb you lose in battle and uh, injury you take. Where did that money go? Probably uh, still being held by the quartermaster for you, so you go ask for it. Or you drunk it. One of the two. Or a combination of both. I don't drink, do I? Grog is alcohol, not just a serving. If of... it comes in a bottle, you drink it. Doesn't matter really much what it is. So you drink rum, water, 
coconuts, laudanum, uh, all sorts of things uh, that I shouldn't speak of. Punch. Beer. Uh, wine. Mead. Right, but I, I haven't been drinking gin, though. No, no, I've never seen you drink gin. Right, see, that's why that's drinking One time. Drink. Right, when? Well, that was uh, before you lost your limbs now, wasn't it? Uh, it's bad luck, gin. That's why I don't drink gin anymore. Makes sense. Sorry to bring Makes it up. What do I love most about life on the high seas? Ah, the sea view. I love to play while looking at the sea view. Love the smell of salt in my nostrils. I love, you know what I actually also really love? I love destroying other ships. You know, loading the cannons, shooting at them, seeing people panic. Oh, and I really love boarding the other ships and then taking all their stuff. That's great. And then I love afterwards. We've divvied up everything and we've made all our shares. We go back into port and then we drink. Oh. So what you're saying is you like being a pirate? Yes. That's the best part of the high seas. Could you imagine just being in the high seas and not being a pirate? Just, I don't know, sitting on a ship, traveling from one place to the next, and then being attacked by pirates. That would be terrible. Yeah, but, it sure uh, would. Right, and then you'd get captured and be made a cabin boy. That would be the worst. Yup. Especially if you were French. I, French. Some sort. I, I feel like this is really targeted. <laughs> I also what? feel like it's a little strange that the, the uh, English knob here wants to be perpetually... Noble. That was right the first time. Missed the L-E. Yeah, it didn't. Just didn't use it. Didn't miss it at all. I thought they were silent. Mm. I don't exactly. know how to spell, though. No, that's French. The French is all the silent letters. Because it's like, lay, you know, ship. Lay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was pretty sure that uh, his knob here wants to be, va uh, you know, pardoned for everything, but he still really loves piracy, so... Well, Why do you get it the system? But once you get a letter of mark, you get to do all the same things, and you get to do it officially. Yeah, but why would I want a letter of mark from the English? Oh. oh, I could think of a couple of reasons. But nonetheless, it's the excitement of the adventure. That's what I love most about the high seas. <laughs> Makes sense. And also, attacking other ships in battle. Piracy, yeah. Oh, I once acted against the Articles of Brotherhood of Pirates. Why, I yeah. think that... What's your mm. answer to this question? My answer to the question? I think that's a great question for you. So... And not a nine-year-old. Not a nine-year-old. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I, got an, I have an answer for this one. I have an answer for this one. <laughs> so here's the unfortunate truth. Technically, if you're being my specific... The Accord of Brotherhood says that we're not supposed to stab each other. Now, this is an unfortunate statement of truth and valid curse, but, you know, we're all brothers under the Brotherhood of the Calcutt Pirate Captain Blood, and you're not supposed to harm each other. However, there was a certain individual who will shall remain nameless and no longer among the crew who did not seem to understand the um, rules, as it were. And uh, quite enjoyed liberating folk of their own property when they were too intoxicated to pay attention. And I took a mighty, shall we say, uh, in I took offence to the fact that the individual thought that I was perhaps too drunk to pay attention, which shall never actually be true. I've never actually been that drunk. Um, I'm always aware of everything that's important to me, like my knives and my money. Don't touch either of them. And this particular individual decided to do attempt to make off with both. Did not end well for him, and he now longer no longer lives and ends up now on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, question. Uh have you seen my black sir coat? Mm, no, uh not actually. 
Why? I don't know, you just saying you like taking things. No, 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 I don't like taking things. This other individual likes taking things, and that's why he's dead. Oh. Would he have my black surcoat, then? I don't know. He's now literally feeding fish. Where's his stuff? Over there. Can someone help me? Yeah, here you go. Oh, sir. Thank you. We can get to a new prosthetic when we get to... No. <laughs> this one. No. That. Use your wooden leg. Peg. Two wooden pegs. Peg well, peg I mean... You think they make them in sets of four? Yeah. You can get them in any You probably want you hooks for the, for the for the talk to. Yeah. Hooks are great. Sold. Nice. Yep. You probably have a lot of shares at the quartermaster that you can go and use. I'd say. <laughs> or ask him. I forgot to talk to the half master though. He's got more power. He's called the bosun. Hey. Is so if so if Lindy passed to you, do then am I goes, next? You're next. Or, yep. Okay. Yep. What business do you dream of owning in Port Royal? Mm. Oh, what business do I dream of owning? Hey, dreamer. Oh, I think I'd make a good tavern owner. I like to have a good time, right, cabin boy? You you love a good time, sir. Yeah, so it only makes sense that I'm in charge of all the good times of everyone in a room. You also have a nice singing voice, though. Oh, I can really turn it on, you know. I remember that Sea View play. I was on the concertina and you were singing. That was a, a nice evening. Uh, ships were burning on the side. It was nice. Sometimes I just get inspired. Yeah. Well, let me see. Why did I leave England behind? Well, that was... In, who? Who uh, did you leave behind? Who? Who did... Well... My brother, uh, my aged mother, who was always very sincere. Uh, I also left behind my uh, younger sister. I uh, left behind, oh, let me think. Huh. Well, everybody in my village uh, at the manor, left them all behind. Uh, left behind, oh, the baker. Actually, just everything in Potteroy. Uh, it's a lovely place. Full of... Full of the huntsmen. Uh, ah, it's wonderful. It's been the most beautiful place there is. Uh, with the best people. Mm. Yes. I left behind all of that uh, one day. Uh, but we're on the coast, so... One day, perhaps... I'll be able to go and see them again. That would be. What if instead of you leaving here to see them, you brought them here to see you? Oh, you know the thing is, traveling by sea is dangerous. There's scurvy and all of Pirates. that. Pirates, monsters, French people, monsters, kraken. Really don't understand Sirens. your objection to the Ir to the French here. Uh, look, they're about to go and attack the English, aren't they? That's what the rumor says. Fuck the English! They cursed you to penal servitude. What do you give a fuck about them for? Uh, I was uh, wrongly accused. 
so I just gotta get myself pardoned, and then uh, I'll be able to retake my spot. You are aware that just being pardoned means that you're acknowledging the fact that you're guilty as sin, but you're being forgiven for it anyways. You should find that or... the person who actually did the thing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. have them charged that... instead. Well, that'd be good. Clear yes. your name. Yes. Uh, my dad's a lawyer. Name. Maybe he could help. Uh, perhaps <laughs> if you could find your dad, if you could find him. Well, if your father, well. But when I get back there, when my name is cleared, that that'll be a day. Mm-hmm. We'll have clotted cream. We'll have the best. You know, England has the best food, the best cuisine. In the entire world, everyone knows it. Everyone speaks of the great British, the English cuisine. And I'll go and have all the sort of puddings. Ugh. I really only remember the muffins. Oh, they were also good, most of the crumpets. I like eating. You eat too much. No such thing. <laughs> They're a growing child. They need their food. See you, Timothy. Right, let's see. What have I got? The plantation owner's daughter once showed you kindness. How will you see? Esmeralda is a, a, a right gentle sort of young lady, you know. She's very kind and nice and, um, you know, delightful and pretty and she, she's just very she's just very nice she showed her, she showed kindness um because I, I hurt my leg you see um and and I, when i was running away from other pirates and um i hid some bushes and uh she lost her cat and uh the cat found me and so she found me with the cat and recognized that my leg was her and she helped my leg get better and uh, I got to pet Esmeralda. Cat. Esmeralda. Uh, Marie. And old Timothy, you seem to have quite a way with the ladies. Well, most of the ladies I've met have been really nice. Mm. <laughs> I do have to pay Miss Marie, though, to teach me French. She says she prefers me over her regular clientele. <laughs> <laughs> she gives me a discounted rate for that. Well, uh, French is a language. Uh, you know they sing your. Everyone speaks about you, Timothy the French, all the time. I do. They specifically. Yeah, I'm Port Royal. What do they say? They say, you've got nice curls, and a cherub oh, face. That's nice of them. I don't know what a cherub is, but I mean, as long as it's not an ugly face, I suppose. Like a mutton face. No, cherubs are angels. Muffin. It's a muffin face. Muffin face. <laughs> oh, well that's nice of them. Uh, mine is the eye patch. Oh yeah. This is this is more so I fit in with the crew. I don't actually need it. <laughs> See. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, uh, it, it 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 gives you night vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for the night vision, so I don't get stabbed during any raids. I can hide. It's what I do. Do you still keep in contact with this plantation owner's daughter? You know, when we get to port, you know, see if she's she's free. She's very busy, though, you know, being a, a, a respectable young lady and all that. How old is this respectable young lady? <laughs> she's like 12. Oh, it's very old. It's very old. 
I'm almost ten, though. So, you know. It's not that much younger. She's so old, though. I think it's my turn for this fine shenaniganry. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is indeed. I... It is indeed. The captain needs you for a skill only you can provide to the crew. What is it? Um, well, it's not my skill in murdering folk. There are plenty of you around here who can do that. Um... Oh, it's a fine Irish gift, you know. The gift of gab. I know people mm. and talk to people, and uh, I'm very good at negotiating. Also, selling, which is important if you need to, you know, remove and unload some uh, protect, perhaps, um, items of questionable provenance. What kind of items? Well, let's see. There's the candelabras, the portrait. That one statue of supposed it was supposed to be Venus or something. It wasn't very well done. I got a very good deal for that one though. How is um, it hard to fuck up a planet? No, no, no. The woman, the woman, the goddess. Oh. I didn't know there was two. <laughs> yeah, you'll find out more about her when you're. I older. thought planets are round. I mean, how lumpy was it? But if it's a lady. I guess how lumpy was it is another question, but you know, maybe not the right one. No, uh, some ladies are lumpy. Don't some ever tell the lady that, don't don't ever tell the lady that she's lumpy. That's don't. Alright. I'll keep nope. that in mind. Unless it's with a positive adjective like your lovely lady lumps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean that's the thing though, is it? Some of them have humps. Uh, lovely lady lumps. True. Yeah, but again, you're not saying she's lumpy, right? Not. Well, if you possess exactly lumps of a lovely lady, then yeah. you are lumpy. Still, don't recommend saying it. Have watched fine folk try and say it. Usually, ends up with a predetermined slapped face. Fair enough. But yes, uh, statuary. Oh, and there was that one particular um, side eyes, uh, Tomothy item of questionable pro uh, provenance that was uh, best removed quickly. Slides hands over Tomothy's ears. It was a golden dildo. That's, yeah, that's what I imagined. Because there's so many golden dildos and also copper and silver dildos all over this place. All the time. I don't know why people keep shipping them one place to the next. <laughs> You'd remember that we took it off an Englishman's ship, right? It's because the English, well... I was going to say something rude, but I won't, because I'm being English and polite. I'm pretty sure you're not. Good house guest. I was just going to say it's because the other la English ladies are looking for something that they can't get from English men. No, it's good. No, not going to say it. Not going to say it. You can, you're but my company. Gonna... You can say it. Mm. You're not at that, uh, court. Huh, no, I was going to say probably was being used on the uh, Irish deckhands on that ship. Because, you know, after all, England is a, has been given Ireland a, a very nice uh, time with dildos. 
No, I'm pretty sure it's been fucking us over. There ain't been no pleasure involved in it at all. Uh, and it has they... been for us. <laughs> <laughs> keep trying. We'll keep bleeding you slowly. Don't worry. Uh, well, I think it's, uh... Well, Billy, it's your go, eh? Yeah. I believe it is. Mm. Why did you join a rebellion against James II in 1685? Yeah, why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? There was nothing better to do. Oh. <laughs> was it particularly politically motivated? Um, uh, I just got tired of sitting on me rump at home. Back then, I drank a lot of gin, but since I uh, took up sailing, you know, that life was not for me anymore, and it was just ailing grog, which I don't consider alcohol. Um, it's just like spicy water, you know? Uh, um, so it's not really a rebellion, I'd say, for me. Uh, but time I get to spend with all of you guys, you know, and I, I just hope, I just hope that nothing happens that would split us up, because I really enjoy, I really enjoy your company, uh, you know, um, even you, cabin boy. Oh, not to hear you say that, sir. We're only half French. <laughs> The better half. So no matter what happens, I hope we can all still be friends when this is all done. Oh, me too. Why'd you sneak into Point Royal regularly? Ooh, well, I sneak into Point Royal regularly because there in Point Royal there's a a lady. Not and also a, No. And also but it's a mom. No. It's, it's, it, it's the the players, the twins. Uh, they do uh, all of the, oh. the most most recent plays. Uh, there's only two of them, so they have to play most oh, parts. Those twins. I thought you were talking about the yes. contortionists. No, no, not the contortionists, uh, the players. Uh, of the uh, oh. twins. Yes, no, the other twins. But to see them do the works that the newest play is all about. Uh, they also do do a bit of contortion. I mean, they're not as good as the contortion twins. But that's a whole different sort of thing altogether. But, oh, they can juggle and they've got some tumbling and all of that. Uh, I like to sit back and hear them recite sonnets and do those sort of plays. It's a... Uh, What's your I... favorite play? Oh, my that. favorite play. That oh, you've yes, seen uh... them do. Oh, well. I'll have to say, Kit Marlowe. Uh... Tamerlan the Great. That one, I think, is my favorite. Yes. What's that one about? Oh, oh, it's about a great warrior. It's uh, two parts, you know, and it's uh, about Tabor, who's uh, you know, from uh, out, out that way, out far east that way. Uh, oh, see, it's got Persia, uh, and there's troops, it's battles, oh, it's like, oh. And, and look, you'll see them go off and battle each other with swords and uh, great battles in a far time, Babylon, and all of that. Uh, it's lovely. You know, they wear such amazing clothes. Uh, no shoes, though. Uh, it's better for the tumbling. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Mm. Aye, you're nice. going to the see the actresses for their tumbling. That's right. <laughs> you, Timothy. Mm? You don't get to go see them though until you're older. But 
they work at the same place Madame Marie does. I know. That's why I get, but... that's why I get my French lessons. Uh, it's true, but you've got to wait till you're a little bit older for the uh, plays. I Certainly not my, the CV my over lunch. I think if you've seen a man die, you should be able to watch whatever you want. Well, that's probably true. Then go on, up to you. Go and have yourself a time. Timothy the half French. See? It's growth. Called you half French. Yep, that is more accurate. Why do I fear a member of the crew? That's very similar to the first member. I, I think, I think we the can first question I asked. Yeah, we go. That's I'll, the question. I'll get a different one then, let's see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why were you transported to the colonies to be sold as a slave? Well, I told you all. My mum was murdered by pirates. And then they captured everyone else. It wasn't murdered in the piracy. And they drug us off. They sell us off. So not part of the crew of Captain Blood, but one of the other pirate crews out there. Ah, yeah, I see. That is that is correct. Yep. I think you your doing crew on ship? attacked their ship, and then that's how I got over here. See, we pay folk. We don't involve. We don't endorse slavery. We endorse paid labor. Uh, it was, it was definitely an upgrade. Mm. What was I doing on right, that but... ship? Um, yeah. Scrubbing mostly. So why was you coming to the colonies then with your mother? Well, that's an excellent question. You see, my mother wanted to visit a relative in the colonies before we went to France to go, you know, try to meet with my father. That was, the France thing was a maybe, but now that she's dead, I don't have a reason not to go. So, you know, there's that. But we were going to stay with um, some family in the colonies for a while. She had a, a brother. And? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you happen to know if they're still alive? Yeah, they're not. I checked. <laughs> what do you, do you check? Well... I asked around town, I was like, excuse me, <laughs> has anyone seen Jonathan Smutley, Shirley Smutley's brother? <laughs> and they were like, Smutley? Of the Liverpudlian Smutley and the Smutleys? And I was like, that's them's the ones. <laughs> and they said, oh, terrible news for you then, Mr. Smutley. Had a terrible accident. What kind of accident? Well, it seems that when, when one day he was going fishing, but it was storming, and he said the fish were going to be out because they like the rain. He wasn't expecting a bolt of lightning. Uh. Yes, I don't recommend lightning in open waters. If you can't no one get... of the things to not expect, it's lightning in the Spanish lightning. Inquisition. Them's the two. So yeah, he just had his fishing pole out and then his up, apparently. Spried him right on the spot. I got to see, they gave him a little, a little tombstone at least, that was nice. Apparently he was well, well respected in the village, he was. I've got some questions. Yeah. You might want to just ponder that perhaps your mother lied to you a little bit. What? About your father. That's what all. What do you mean? Uh, you feel like if you're going to go to, like, this, uh, to go from England to France, you don't normally come all the way down to the Caribbean. It's uh, Well, she said it was complicated. Mm. She said... That father might not want to see us because he didn't know I existed. She said that sometimes happens with her line of work. What was her line of work? 
Oh, she does the same thing Madame Marie does, but without the French teaching. Oh, so she's an English teacher. I guess so. I mean, that's why the French came to see her. Obviously. Mm -hmm. She said I was a delightful surprise, but that she couldn't support us both in England, so we'd go move, move in to see with her brother, and that maybe, after some letters had been exchanged, maybe then we could go to France. But it'd probably be several years. Because, you know, I, I asked about father a lot. Just note it. I just want to just note it. That strange birthmark you've got. What? What strange birthmark? I can't it, see. Wait, it's the one on the back of your shoulder. What's it look like? Don't worry. A star of some sort, I guess. I mean, it's purple. I can't. I can't really see. I'll take your word for it. It's true. Purple star back there. But yeah. Strange. Mm. So that's the story of how I came over from England to go to the colonies. Mm. And then, then, you know, how my mum died and then found out my uncle died. And now I'm here. Well, it's just again for the employed. Captain tried to bring me to my uncle, but he was dead. So I just stayed on. See, now you're gainfully employed. Captain Blood is a man of his word. All positive yep. things. Saving up for French lessons in a trip to Paris. Sounds like a right grand plan. Uh, you have a name, you have a destination, you've got everything you need. Just working on the French. Mm. Why do people in England fear you? <laughs> because I'm very, very good at my other job, which is murdering folk. Oh yeah, I've seen it. And, you know, they normally have nicknames for people they fear over in England. So it's yours. Uh, the Butcher of Bath was what some person in the newspaper decided to call me. I liked the alliteration, but I'm not really into butchering. I mean, that's a lot of effort and dislocation. Those and poor wash tubs. Yeah, not my fan. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, <laughs> quick and easy. Current murder count, by the way, of toffee English noblemen who deserved it was 122. Mm. That's a lot of English nobles. Well, not enough. You mean Le Nobs? Oi, exactly. Now, what is your favorite broadside ballad about you, then? Hold, please. I believe I can actually pinpoint this one. Um, mm -hmm. uh, wait. Um, well, there's, uh, yeah, of course, there's the, uh, no, that one's not about me. That's about my cousin. He's the high moment. Um, he died horribly. That was very sad. I firmly... The Redcoats should not have shot him. That was horrible. Um, uh, <laughs> just, I believe it's called... Uh, the Butcher's Coming to Town is what it's called usually. I don't usually sing a lot of English ballads. They're not really in tune or quite as literative as Irish music. Oh, I think I know that one. I've heard it before. I could sing it for you. You oh. can go oh, right ahead. Oh, I'd a... love that. Yeah, go right ahead. Yes, please do. You better not sing. You better not cry. If you are English, you're going to die. <laughs> oh, I've heard this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The butcher of bath is coming. To town. Uh, the rhythm's good. Mm -hmm. You could dance to it. Round of drinks on the cabin boy. Round of drinks on the cabin boy. 
Hey, it's two rounds of drinks on the cabin, boy. Nice. Why? No gin for me, please. Thanks. I'm, I'm, I quit. I'll just get the grog bucket. Yes, that works. <laughs> Very good performance, by the way, Billy. Grand performance. Oh, thank you. It's from my years of experience. I believe it's your card, though. Yeah, Captain knows that you committed a serious crime during the escape from the plantation. Why does he protect you still? Because he feels bad. What? I took a cannonball for him. Lost what? both my legs. That you cannot buy that kind of loyalty. Um, it's true. But what was the crime that you committed? I mean, I know all the captain protected you, but what, what, you, what did she do? What you do? They put me in a jail cell made out of people, and I ate my way out. Mmm, oh, delicious. Oh. Did you at least uh, have salt or something? Just the salt of the sea, me boy. The salt of the sea. Timothy, don't eat people. Don't let get... people tell you what to do or not do, you know? No, 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 no. Don't tell the kid. He's too young for cannibalism. It'll do horrible things to him. You get horrible diseases that way, you know? It's called cannibalism, not cantabolism. <laughs> don't indulge in cannibalism at least until you can drink. Uh, well, at least you're... Uh, 16. I don't plan on it unless someone puts it on my plate. My mum always said I had to clean my plate before I could leave the table. <laughs> so as long as no one serves me cannibalism, I suppose I won't have cannibalism. Don't talk to me. You, all of you, could have already eaten it and not had any idea. Doesn't taste that different. I don't eat meat. You, never? Mm-mm. <laughs> Not once. Oh, you're a lawyer, that's what you are. I have bad news about that breakfast stew. That's <laughs> why I don't eat a lot of the breakfast stew. I've seen what goes into it. I wash that cook. Don't eat the meat. Uh, it's all right. Oh, I quite enjoy it. Fish? Fish is good. Fish is meat? No, it's it fish. Meat. It's to it's me. No, see, it's not meat because you can eat it during Lent. That's if you're Catholic. Just like beavers, not meat. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> what? Wait, beavers are meat. Yeah, beavers are fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? <laughs> mm-hmm. Something yeah. apparently they determined after coming out of New France that beaver is a fish. So, uh, so you can eat beaver during Lent. That's right. Let me and see. all the other fasting times. Because it's yeah, a fish. It's a, it's a Cause, fish. Cause, why? So basically they're pescatarian. Yeah, it is. So uh, why do I still cats? have a glint? Oh, cats. I, it's better than well, that's, cats. That's I, I me. proceed again and again. And, uh, you know, the jellical cat uh, makes me have think of memories. <laughs> you know, all alone in the moonlight. You know, uh, right of my Mr. Mephistopheles. Anyway, why do I still love England? Oh, I still oh, love England. If you didn't know, oh, Capybara is also considered a fish. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> I do like a, I do like a good cap and bara. Sort of my favourite source of manga. Anyway, what I was saying is, why do I still love England? Oh, I still love England because uh, there are very burly, burly fellows in England. Uh, big muscles. Uh, love that. Well, apparently uh, you're really into Barra, so that's a good thing to know. That's that word. <laughs> Cabin Boy brought it up, the Capybara. Uh, they know, uh, yes, this is right. Yes, Big it. land rats without tails. Yep, that's... Well, they sometimes got a tail. Anyway, I once had to take them say, off the cheese. It was a bad day. Well, it was a bad day. Ooh. <laughs> well, I still love England because of the, 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 the roses. The roses of England, and also 
the cucumber wine and the dandelion wine. Again, I, as I said, again, we best uh, clotted cream, uh, blood sausage, uh, best, I mean, you know, then traveling around the world, the way that we in England use spices is probably the best in everywhere. You know, a nice boiled sort of thing. Uh, the funny really... thing was they actually did use a lot of spices in this yeah. time period. <laughs> yep. They're like, spices, they're fresh, they're new. They're like, let's use them all. And you're like, oh, maybe that was a little too much. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's not until the Victorians that they get real bad with the food. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, I, well, I love the ways in which as a member of the British Empire, I get to just travel all around to see all sorts of places. And uh, and as a pirate, also rob them, and that's lovely. Hmm. 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 Indeed. I got nothing else on that one. I don't. I don't either. It yeah, makes much sense. Yeah, yeah, very does. logical. Yes. Yes, I think so. <laughs> you once committed a horrible <laughs> crime in defense of a crew member. <laughs> Oh, That's this true. Is you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Well, you see, mm. we had um, you were drunk again, and um, yeah. we were being raided. Like it happens sometimes, fighting other pirate ships, and they was gonna stab you, which would have been pretty horrible. And I didn't really fancy you getting stabbed, so I just clunked him over the head with a rat. But what we was the other crime? Raided? Yeah, that makes yeah. that sounds like it checks as no, no. Yeah. I've never crime. committed physical assault before. It was rather tragic. And then, and then he was like, "Ah, a rat. I'm allergic to rats." <laughs> and then. Uh, it was just, it was terrible. But, but then he chased me, crime? so I lured him into the rat closet. Right. And then. And the rats ate him. Uh, oh. I, I think you're completely absolved from any responsibility <laughs> here. Uh, I just feel yeah. terrible like about it. The sound yeah. of him yeah, facing yeah, off yeah. against all those rats. Haunts me. Well, I mean, did he uh, even have arms, weapons, and anything? Well, he didn't have arms. He didn't have arms after the rats dealt with him. Uh, yeah, yeah. But was no, he? I mean, was was he even a violent person? Apparently, he was going had, to kill you. He so had obviously, a, he had a cudgel. Um, I think we should maybe rewind to perhaps the 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 lead that's being buried. Um, you have a rat closet, eh? <laughs> so that's interesting. <laughs> well, you know, it's my job to, uh, to fight off the rats, uh, off the cheese, uh, but sometimes the rats are awfully big. So instead, I'll lure them to this little closet we have, just barely big enough for a man, <laughs> and I'll trap them in there so I don't yeah. have to deal with them. How many rats do you have in your rat closet? I don't know, I lost count. I can only count up to here. But I also would like to point out that rats will eat each other, don't you know? Well, well yeah. Some terrible noises started coming out, so then I'd, I'd start pushing food underneath the rat closet door. <laughs> so you've been raising an army of cannibalistic rats. I've never been so turned on in my whole life. So, I've got an idea for you, my small friend. Oh, yeah. How about we talk about... They're pretty um... big now. They're like the size of cats, and I don't know if I can buy you some. That's okay, I've got an idea. <laughs> Why don't we go into business together? You keep breeding and training your cannibalistic rats, and no, we start... No, I don't train them. I just... No, that's what you're doing. Shh. Ever... When yes, well, you're training them. Don't, no, 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 no. You're training. You, it's, that's training and skill that you're imparting there. And why don't we go into business together and we start planning a really good sale? I know these people who like to run around in ancient, you know, 
dungeons and whatnot. And if you throw some rats in there, giant cannibalistic rats, it'll add to the extra, you know, yeah, ambiance. Yeah, it'd be, pr it'd be perfect, you know. And the people who create these kind of dungeons and all of these things, they need some, you know, ideas. So we'll add the cannibalistic rats to what we're selling. I, you, you and I, we'll, go, we'll talk, we'll talk. Oh, but you got to fetch the rats. Yeah, it was fine. You also have an entire closet full of them just <laughs> hanging out there. We got a bag big enough, I'm sure. We can just open the door a little bit. We'll have the bag open, shove the door right there, let them all run right into the bag. Yeah, because if there's anything that rats like, it's being in a bag. You put a piece of cheese in the middle of it, they won't know the difference after being in that closet now, will they? I've been in that closet a long time. <laughs> what? You should come out of that closet. I think it's important. Not to, to be in that closet as well. I think it's very important that they stay in there for my own health. Well, they yeah. well, well, let's, pretty let's, sure they have a grudge. We're not oh, taking anybody's closet board door in there. off, but they don't want anybody's closet door. Think about the danger to be inherited of just removing a closet door randomly on folk. Uh, I suppose that's fair. Especially if it's full of cannibalistic, violent rats. Mm. Rodents of Hungry. unusual size, you could say. <laughs> 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 Heard that about them. They do sound uh, unusually sized. One of my oh, best yeah. clients, man with six fingers. Great client. Always pays on time, <laughs> don't you know? Uh, he uh, he could use some ROUSs. What's an ROUS? ROUSPCT. Find out what it means to be. I don't know how to spell. ROUSPET. It's a road of unusual size. It's a pet. ROUSPET. Find out what it means to me. It means you got pets that are rodents of unusual size and been trained to be killers. Laugh and nod. <laughs> anything that gets slid under that door. Or anyone. That's the important distinction here. We want to encourage murder and mayhem. I don't think that's hard. They're pretty antsy. Cannibalistic rat ants as well. They'd be into it. Yeah, uh, it's yours. It's your go. What about the sea frightens you most? <laughs> the undead who live below it. Oh, yeah, don't like them. They what? Don't like them. The undead. You know. I thought my biggest problem on the ship was that I didn't know how to swim. Well, no. well that's your biggest problem on this ship, not... Oh, no, really, the uh, restless souls of the murdered folk that I shove over the side, usually the stories go that they'll haunt the uh, cursed and the sea, and they'll then be there to lure you singing songs of regret and remorse. Thought... Sirens are not fun. Don't listen to them. Mermaids are not all right. No, they... No, mermaids will uh, mermaids definitely... Right. No, mermaids are singing to put, drag you dunder and their names consume you in the not fun way. To figure out which There's one's a fun way of consuming. Right. Yes. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Madame Marie Absolutely. will tell you all about it when you're older. Mm. All right. Sea view play. <laughs> Have you been uh, visited by these haunts already? They ever try to climb onto the ship? No, of course not. They try and pull you under. By luring you to your death, the quiet of the night, sitting with your own thoughts, the sounds of the sea, waves lapping at the side of the ship, you start to hear the hum and songs. At which point I start probably start singing something entirely different, usually give Ireland back to the Irish. How's that one go? Give, give Ireland back to the Irish so that they can shove it no, up. It's... England's rearing. No, that's not the right one. No, not the right one. Um, <laughs> give Ireland back I, to I the like Irish. It. Don't make them have to take it away. Give Ireland back to the Irish. Make Ireland Irish today. Great Britain, you're tremendous, and nobody knows it like me, but really, what are you doing in the land across the sea? 
<laughs> Tell me how would you like it if on your way to work you were stopped by Irish soldiers? <laughs> would you lie down, do nothing? Would you give in or go berserk? Uh, it's a nice song, but we still own Ireland and half the globe, really. Uh, no, you don't you know, own Ireland. You just well, think you do. Well, possession's not tenths of the law. Yeah, but you have to retain nothing. possession, and I'm pretty sure a bunch of people who are stabbing a whole bunch of Englishmen are telling you that you don't. Also, you know, James II apparently is going over to Ireland to start recruiting a bunch of Irish to fight for him. Don't know why that would be a problem. Well, he's also Catholic, so I'm hoping that we'll get a new crown that'll uh, take care of all of that. Yeah, you imported a German. <laughs> I'll see how that goes for you. I'm sure it'll go quite well. I, I don't, uh, if you guys are interested, uh, something washed up on shore earlier. Hold on, let me grab uh, uh, He'll pull what'd out you, what'd you get? red hats that say, make Ireland Irish again. <laughs> <laughs> Am I'm I? A, I'm not selling these, but if you guys want uh, to pay me some money for them, I won't turn it down. Yeah, but you well, never pick up your money you. anyway. We well, have to. Well, I don't know. I have to talk to the one of the masters about my pay. But if they tell me no, then I gotta have a backup plan, and I'll just sell these hats. I think we can get away with just you know you getting paid by the folk that are already are holding your money because they want to pay you. And I don't really think red is the right color for Ireland. Green, now. Green would be a fine color. I didn't make them. They just washed up on shore. Maybe it was... Maybe they chose green and got rid of all the weird ones. That would make sense. You know, all the Englishmen wear red. Why do you keep a trinket from a raid hidden from the rest of the crew? You're hiding something. Right, it, it's um, it's a big conch shell, and I keep it hidden all the time. Cause when it's not hidden, I blow on it real loud, and nobody likes it, and they want to take it away from me and break it, and I won't let them. So I told them I threw it in the ocean, but instead, I keep it. Is that that weird hooting noise I hear at night sometimes when everyone's asleep? No, I thought that was the sound of the dead. You were, you heard the tooting? <laughs> oh, I did. I heard the tooting. That's my real love, tooting. <laughs> oh, like a rooting tooting, really. Well, not not so much in the rooting. A but rooting tooting is, conch shell. There's some tooting, for certain. Oh, so the kids are saying, um. For real, for real. No cap. Did you say we're talking about the capybaras again? Yep, the capybaras. No cap in my diet. But all the bara. You can hold the bara too. I'll just take. I'll just toot my conch. Uh, that's that's what he said. Uh, I've got a personal hatred for the French crown. Why? Obviously. <laughs> Personal <laughs> hatred for the French crown, obviously. Are they the ones who <sighs> framed you? Set you up? No. Well, see, think about the French. They're Catholic. And also about the French. See, I'm going to tell you a story. Damn. It's important. See, there was a French noble. He said he was a lawyer, but he was a noble. And you see, he was running about having relations with all sorts of people, including good English ladies. Tell him all sorts of stories about what not. And with, his name was Tom Thee, Lord Tom Thee. And uh, he was a bit of a... It's really close to my name. What? I'd never thought about that. Anyway, he's a bit of a scoundrel, <laughs> that sort of French noble. And, uh, well, he, he made some sort of, uh, 
were engaged to be sister. And uh, he left her high and dry. She gave birth to a small boy. Uh, we called uh, Francois, lots of things like that. That's what she called him. And then, uh, well, it was all a bit, a bit scandalous, so we handed him off to uh, one of our lady's maids. Uh, Elizabeth was her name. And she went and she spurred that fellow away. And none, it was my, it was my nephew, wasn't it? And so I have a great hatred for the French crown because they did my sister wrong. And I've never seen my nephew since then. I have no idea what he's doing. Anyway, that's, that's why. Loss of family. Disrespect. Popes. Sounds tragic. It so a knob tragic. was, if I understand this, so as a knob, it was a knob to another knob, and you got upset about it, and now you're blaming the French crown for the actions of an individual. I understand now. Also, um, hold still. Visual comparison between the two. Mm -hmm. Understand. Nothing. What? Uh, nothing. Mm. Absolutely nothing. You said your brother was the Lord Fauntleroy. Fauntleroy, was it? Yes, that's right. Good to know. Thank you very much. I'll take a note of that. Good to know. Mm. Strange. Right. Mm. Yeah. Tabathy, the half French. What's you? Oh, I said. Oh, it is me indeed. Yes, that's um. right. Mm. Same. The life of a pirate has made you wealthy. <laughs> Why do you feel shame for mm. that? Oh, well, you see. Mm. My mother knew this, never knew this type of money. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she would have enjoyed living a fine life where she could eat meat sometimes and dairy and the occasional cake. And pay for French lessons. <laughs> so you know, I guess I guess I just feel shame that I'm I'm getting living a better financial life than me and my mother ever did. Well, you should feel proud of yourself for making. Uh, I, I'm sure your mother would be proud of all the things you've done. I just wish I could share it with her. Understandable. Exactly how wealthy are you, Timothy? Well, I told you I've been saving to go to, to France and then I paid Madame Marie for my French lessons. Other than that, my living, my expenses are really quite low as a nine-year-old. Um, well, I mean, you got your room and board and three squares a day, don't you? Aye. So, uh, would you probably be really close then to being about able to afford a ticket to France. Well, I mean, I could. I just don't speak French yet. I feel like it'd be really awkward if I was, if, you know, I didn't know the words to say, you know, in French. I might stick out like a sore thumb. You're probably going to stick out anyway, but, you know, a lot of the Parisians Maybe just are... like a thumb and not a sore thumb. A well, the Parisians seem to have this really snotty yeah. attitude about anybody trying to speak their language, and they'd rather prefer you don't. But I suppose I'll take more lessons with Madame Marie, in it. There's. Gotta the watch French. out for those French, though. Gotta watch out for them. <laughs> don't trust them. Yeah, I, I, I've saved up a fair bit. Almost ready to go to France, then. Yeah. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Indeed, it is indeed. That's true. Hello, why not work? Let's see, I can try. There you go. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, for some reason it froze for me. Um, why do you still dream of the first ship you raided? Uh. Because right at the perfect moment. Captain, high on the mizzen mast, 
but not the missing mask because that wouldn't actually work. For uh, for sale. There we go. Um, perfectly framed. Sun streaking from the back lit. Perfect shot. Glance up. As he swings down. To engage the part, the uh, captain of the ship that we were raiding, and uh, English merchant captain, um, gauge him in a solid duel. And apparently, during the course of this individual particular duel, the uh, English captain managed to rem cut off the buttons of the captain's shirt, and then just was flowing everywhere, sun streaked on him. Perfect shot. Oh, uh... Great imagery. I have no shame whatsoever, do I? Uh, Not at all. No. Nope. Done. Uh, now, that was your first foray with our good captain. Uh, what about the last one? What do you mean, yesterday? Yes, yesterday. What about it? Hey, do you have any good memories from that one? You know, shirts and whatnot. No, no, no. There was not a lot of shirt stabbing. That was a lot of just straightforward. I'm going to go through and, you know, stab a couple of people through the back and then shove them overboard. Mm. Pulled three guys off the back of, you know, off the back of the ship. It was a lot of fun. Another English vessel. Mm. Oh, and at least oh, three of them were redcoats. Always a great job when you get to kill redcoats. Well, maybe one day we'll be able to fight for dear old England again once we get rid of, you know, get a new monarch. <laughs> Didn't fight for England the first time. Billy. Alrighty. <gasps> the captain once gave me a token of his <laughs> affection. <laughs> What is it? Oh, well, wasn't just one token of his affections. The, fir the first token, which I take to be of his affections, is this satchel of red hats that say, make Ireland Irish again, which is... I don't know why he would give those to me, because... I'm not Irish at all, but um, a a freshly a fr freshly uh, disposed of shirt that he had worn during the battle. It was all covered in sweat and a little bit of blood. Uh, again, um, a little bit weird that. Uh, he would give his sweaty shirt to me and a sack of hats under the assumption that I might be Irish. Uh, now, I just want to see if I could just recap for a moment. Uh, just saved his life by taking a cannonball for him and yeah. being injured. And he uh -huh. keeps you on the ship because he cares about you so deeply. And he's also given you tokens of his affection. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, just wanted to reinforce how much he seems to uh, care about you and favor you. Well, if I triangle, I'm I'm trying to think. You know, if the cabin boy took a cannonball to both of his legs to help me, I would be forever in, in debt. To the cabin boy, I feel like you know it just might be it might be that. I mean, I sure. suppose it could it could be more, but you know that's usually did like. Did feed someone to a rat closet for you once? <laughs> and I'll that's... never forget that. Not once will I ever forget, including today. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and the sounds of the the rats or the. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, oh, what I'm saying is if it were romantic, you know, he could just come right out and say it. It's not like I'd really object or anything. Well, I just haven't 
haven't really thought about it like that. Sounds like a Bermuda Triangle is developing. It of love. Wait, is that where everyone Why? dies? Why? You assume I'm going to be jealous or something? Well, it's a triangle. We're in Bermuda, or near it. Yeah, I don't want to have anything to do with the Bermuda Triangle. We're probably going to end up being sucked into it and then, you know, cursed for eternity. You understand that, right? Oh, I'll well, be cursed for eternity. Yeah, I don't want to be cursed for eternity. It's okay. Um, and trying to pat you on the head. Um, nah. Captain's free to do what he likes. I just enjoyed watching. Also, you, you know, he's got this whole thing going with the, you know, the governor's daughter. Oh, yeah, I've, well, I've probably yeah, made sense. Just, a captain's uh, always been one to have a bit of a sparkle in his eye. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let me see. Uh, someone in Port Royal cares for me deeply. Who is it? Well, I'm going to tell you this uh, difficult, sad story. Uh, there's a, a a good a good lady. Uh, who is uh, related to the brother of my sister's lady's maid. Uh, this, uh, she's the widow because my sister's lady's maid's brother died tragically, uh, leaving a widow. And uh, this widow, she uh, and I, we are... We, well, I try to take care of my people by extension. Um, she's a, a lovely, lovely woman. It was so sad when her husband died in the most tragic way that involved multiple cannonballs and also rats. Uh, and I think some cannibalism. Uh, just tragic and it was quite terrific, uh, you know, terrible for her. But, you know, I whenever I come into Port Royal, I try to go and... Uh, see her and say hello and uh, give her a little bit of something so that she can make it through. Uh, sadly, I never got to go and uh, meet uh, her husband. Uh, I came too late. Oh, yeah. But why does she care Actually, for you? I'll... Oh, because I'm kind and I'm a, you know, Oh, because you give her well, money. I gotcha. Well, yes. You know, I was wanting to go and see my uh, sister's lady's maid, but she never made it to... Uh, she never made it. Apparently she died. Some sort of terrible uh, boating situation. Killing a raid of some sort, I think. Uh, but I try to do what's right. Nonetheless. Uh, but it's nice. I When I come into Port Royal, uh, she make me some stew. It's nice to have people who care for you. Mm. It is. Yes. I agree. It's just a bit of a problem, though, because now she didn't know the information that I seek. So I think I will never find my nephew. Ever. Very sad. I know. I hope I have more than charged in my family. Well, I, I hope you do. My I'm... sister charged with trying to find her, her nephew and I. All my leads have been dried up. Which is weird because we, we spend a lot of time in the wet water. I know. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Dry leads, wet ocean. You never know. A, leads. You, you never know. Wait. A lead might develop when you least expect it. You know, you stop looking around and you just pop right in front of your face. Perhaps. I don't know. Hey, Timothy the Half French. Maybe one day you'll get a lead. Maybe. Maybe. That was honestly not what I thought she was saying. All right. <laughs> I hope you get a lead too someday, Timothy. Thank you, sir. Uh, a real character builder. I is. How did the captain prove his loyalty to the crew? Oh, goodness. Mm. Hmm. Goodness had nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, oh, so. yeah, come, dude. Um, well, 
Well, you know, he's really stood up for us sometimes, you know, through thick and thin, good times and bad times, and he makes sure we always get paid, no matter what, even if his cut's a little less. Wait, what? Yeah. You really got to talk to the quartermaster. Yeah, you really do. It's, you it's just said he, embarrassing. He makes sure you get paid. Yes. I, I think it'd be yeah. weird him showing me all his affections <laughs> and then him not making Have sure Have you checked the pockets of the sweaty shirts me. he's given you? <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe the money's in there. Well, if he put it, I, I, I threw those out. Oh. oh yeah. I hope there weren't money in the pockets. I hope Or not. love notes. Oh, boy. And he always makes sure we get like food yeah, and yeah. plenty of munitions and supplies. I think he even knows about the rat closet, but he hasn't said anything. Even though it means we have to get blown on extra food sometimes. Yeah, for the for the rats. The it, rats. You know, yeah. The closet's getting pretty full. It's starting to bulge at this point. <laughs> I, I, we're definitely selling some of your rats. We're but, definitely selling but you're not gonna, rats. But you're not going to sell Petey the rat, are you? Or Robespierre the rat? Uh, I mean, they're also charming. So you know about the rat closet enough to know that they're named, do you? I named well, I, I put two and two together. I just thought that uh, Timothy, the half-French, had what you call them, uh, invisible friends, imaginary friends, but... Uh, Turns out they were actual real rats. <laughs> well, you know, rats are a thing that exist. We're selling Madame them. Madame Marie told me to practice my French, so speak French to the rats. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Seems like a smart thing to do. But, you know, speak in French to the rats. Especially if they got tattoos. Because there's nothing like a French rat tattoo. I have a tattoo with like any good... of them. That would mean opening the closet. <laughs> Mold in the switch. Uh, that's, that's fair. That's fair. So what did you... Uh... You said the captain proves his loyalty. Do you... Are you loyal to the captain then? I mean, yeah. He's done right for me, so I'll do my best to do right by the captain. Makes sense. Do my job. Okay, I'm just going to refresh because apparently it's not. Okay, right. nice. Yeah, there we go. If we could there do we it go. for... Oh, no. Uh, you have uh, feelings for uh, another member the of the crew. Who is it? Um, uh, why are you just like... We already know the answer to this one in my point of view, but I want to know what Billy's answer might be. Ooh. Oh. Billy, you've got feelings for another uh, member of the crew. Who is it? Do ya? <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean... I've been trying to keep it a secret. But I will have to say it is the Honorable Rupert Fauntleroy. Me? Oh, we've just gotten to a quadrangle now. I, I think that is uh, what it is called, but it's like everything about the Honorable Rupert Fauntleroy is great, except for the fact that he likes England so much, it's really a huge turn off. Other than everything else, sends the juices flowing throughout my body. A but, question. Oh, yeah. Are these feelings romantic or of hunger? Oh. It is a very important question to be asking. You did say juices flowing, so, you know, like, I, my mouth starts watering when I see something that looks tasty. I'm not sure. To be honest, um, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had romantic feelings before, so I don't know what those feel like. 
Well, 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 let me ask this. When you see me in my full pirate regalia, do you think, oh, I could eat him up? Or do you think, oh, I could eat him up? You know? Like, shit, shit. Yeah, what was the difference? You said it was ink twice. It's the same well, one. Would teeth be involved with the first one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, incisors more, you know, because you can always see a little teeth here and there. But uh, Incisors, outsizers, you know, any which way. Hmm. Okay, what about if he was not in his full pirate regalia? Maybe. He's down to his skivvies. That means he's weaker, yeah. Just means I'm actually just less clothed. Just not the same just less, less clothes. No, because I'd be like, without clothes, you're more English, when that means weaker. Um, but like, without clothes, I'm just more free. You know, sea breeze and all that. Definitely more English. Just waves the wind. And do they make you feel like earth. you want to smooch him or like you want to eat his flesh? And the answer be both. I mean, I'm not here to judge. Depends if it's metaphorical. I'd like to talk about this uh, because I <laughs> like to keep my flesh. Oh, I do. Sorry. Uh, just thinking about uh, salt and sea and. Uh, you know what? That's a whole fantasy for later. All I right, mean... you salty seamen. <laughs> well, yes. Right. That's what I was thinking. Well, maybe so... one day we could talk by the bay. What do you say? I say, yes way. <laughs> hey, right. Just... Oh, hey! Uh... Hey, so, why do I fear the captain's attention? Well, this is very obvious, clearly. Because I don't want this to become a uh, Bermuda Pentangle. That's, you know, this is the, the problem and all. There's uh, so much looking. In, uh, I think about the captain's attention is if he if he looked at me, he would fall in love with me immediately. And I had a bit too too much star crossed lovers there. You know, be too much trouble. We'd have to call it, we'd have to rename the ship the Love Boat. Uh, yes, right. And the love boat. That doesn't it's a very intimidating here. pirate name. That's no. The, exactly. 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 But when I sort of think of the captain as more like, uh, you know, platonically, uh, you know. Indeed. Oh, oh. You're not married, are you? Me? No. No. Is it because uh, you have commitment issues? Is that why you don't want any romantic attention? No, no, that's not it. I mean, I've no, I've got no problem with commitment at all. I've no problem committing, but I mean, you know, I just don't want to, you know, commit. But it's not a problem. I just don't feel like it yet at the moment. Like if I later in a different moment, you know. But I've got no problem opening up about feelings. I just don't want to talk about my feelings. That's all. Englishmen oh, I... are notoriously repressed. It's fine. They never want to talk about their feelings. Oh. I think it was the loss of me that few really that did it. You know, that sort of loss. <sighs> all right, I'm sorry I'll tell you for your loss. Ah, it's all right. I'm going to tell you something terrible. My sister, she died. Got a <gasps> letter recently. Oh, no. Yes. It was tragic, terrible and to she lose died. my sister. Uh, some sort of rat plague. <gasps> no, not another Made one. Her alive. Uh, yeah, oh dear. I swore I'd try to find me nephew. But, uh, and that sort of loss, losing family, yeah, you know, as Billy says, family's important and being all together. Uh, man, I don't like how my family lives. Timothy, you go ahead. All right. Colonel Bishop, the governor of Jamaica, has a personal enmity towards you 
How did you yeah. anger him? Well, he got me hanging out with his daughter Esmeralda, now didn't he? <laughs> he didn't much like you that, he didn't. No, you do get around, don't you? I only, you know, I only go around the ports we're in. Uh, it, mm -mm. That's not what, what, what I meant. It leads me to the next question, then. How does Esmeralda feel about her father hating your guts? Well, she didn't seem right happy about it. I told her maybe one day, if I could save up enough, we could both go to France. So you're planning on running away with the governor's daughter? Yeah. Only if she wants to. If she doesn't want to go she want to? save the money. I mean, she said she'd think about it. So I told her it'd probably her. take some time. I did mention it last time I saw her. Did you mention it, like, written down so that somebody might see it? Or did you just I say it I don't know loud? how to write. Oh. We'll fix that French. one. Hmm? Not even French. Well, I'm, I'm starting to learn how to write French, but I don't know how to write English. And she don't speak okay. French either. Fair, fair. She's been taking Spanish lessons, though, so, you know, if we ever have to go into Spain, we'll be alright. That's another country. Gotta watch out for the Spanish. Hey, they're the the Inquisitions. Mm. No one ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nope. Oh. So, how how much do you, you think it would cost to travel to France to move all your things? Well, I don't really have many things. I'm not moving, I'm not taking the rats with me, so that'll cut down on costs. Um. Just myself, I've got a keepsake from my mother, and then, you know, little little locket that she gave me. Um, and then, I guess my extra pair of underpants. Always important to take extra... Yes, I do have two pairs. Always take extra underpants. And, and then I have a pair of brown pants. I wear those on raid days. Um, of course. But, um, so I guess not, not a lot of things to move. She's probably got some things to move. Um, what I'm saying you know, is, what a if, few years worth wages. What if you invite her on a boat with some things, you know, go for a weekend vacation and then we just uh, ask the captain to make a pit stop? Near France. I don't think the captain goes all the way to France. We ain't been yet. Maybe if you ask real nicely and I'm there. Yeah. Maybe if I paid the captain to go to France. Yeah. It's possible. It is indeed possible. Anything's possible. I'm sure it will all work out. Yeah. Brown pants, underpants, locket, myself, Esmeralda, her things. But those last two are a maybe. So, yeah. I think I could do it in another year. Uh, but then you'll be almost 11. No, I've got to get it before she's of marriageable age, before her father That's marries her off to someone. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like got 14. To move yeah, she's so, already 12. I know, you don't got a lot of time. Timothy, you've got plenty of time. She's not going anywhere until she's at least 16. Alright, i got four years. I'll be 14. Almost. 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 My birthday's on Tuesday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Are we I'm doing sure anything yet. special? Actually, I should say my birthday's on Wednesday because it is. <laughs> yes. I hope we go raiding on your birthday. We can... I hope all we sorts don't. Of things. I'm sure. I'm certain that it'll be pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprises for your birthday on Wednesday. All right. Mm. Probably. That that leads it to you. It does indeed. Yeah. Uh no, we have to skip this one. <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Nope. Mm-hmm. Um, we just, is it okay if we just skip this card? I'm fine Please with that. Please go yeah. ahead. There's enough cards. <laughs> <laughs> they make pleasant no, targets of mo- for multiple purposes. <laughs> <laughs> but you keep missing them, though. That's the problem. You're not very good if you keep missing them. I didn't, wasn't missing them. anything about the broom. <laughs> I enjoyed watching them sail away. You should get better aim if you keep missing them. Well, if I wanted them dead, they'd be dead. But the question says, why do you miss them? Yeah, Seems I think like it's bad eyesight. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. It's about emotional attachment and enjoyment. Oh. And this has nothing to do with happens. the captain coming up to me and recommending your new nickname of Stormtrooper. No, see, here's the thing about that. I've heard about these quote-unquote Stormtroopers, and I've never actually had a problem firing a firearm. Most, many more people are dead by eye hand. And I've heard about this, and you know what the problem is, is you never get the quality aim from individuals who are being controlled by a third party it's their protest don't you know they have unless no right third, unless that that third party is like a ghost that possesses uh, your body yeah but they're still being controlled by a third party so they're protesting the control by this third party by intentionally screwing up their aim or if you're actually in a Star Wars frame of mind, um, this story that I've heard, it's really great. I've heard that, you know, when they took over their bodies and possessed them, that it lost mm. all of their capabilities that they had beforehand. Because, you know, this third party didn't actually know how to fire, you know, this ghost doesn't actually know how to fire a gun. Or at least, if they did, they haven't fired one in many, many years. And, you know, the body also, may have remembered. Also, super cheaply mass-produced guns, the sites aren't all going to be custom on them because you can't custom yes. each person. You just grab one off the rack and go. Yes, the problem. Yes, probably also true. Sounds right. That sounds right. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Captain Skill as a doctor once saved your life. Why did this surprise you? Because I didn't know he was a doctor. (laughs) Until he started stitching up my wounds where my legs used to be. I feel like this captain's really quite sweet on ya. Seems to me. Seems to me. I mean, he he might be. I, I'm not sold on it just because, you know, the power dynamic. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. It's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, that's a yeah, tricky, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah, I heard yeah. once from a great individual, uh, don't shit where you eat. Oh, no, that'd be terrible. The rats don't pay attention to that rule at all. No, they, no the no, rats they shit don't. where they eat and eat that's where it. they shit. So true. That's why they're rats. That's why they're rats. But, um, yeah, you know, it was, uh, I felt it was a little bit crazy that we were out here, bang, bang, you know, a cannon goes off my legs. The next thing I know. Your legs, cannon goes off, your legs go off. Yeah, my legs kind of, there's a little, like, nothing's there, but, like, a little piece of flesh holding them together. You know, I figured, you know, maybe we should stop the breathing and he's, uh, you know, giving there, giving me CPR. Oh, yeah. Oh, the old mouth to mouth. Yeah, Yeah. which is kind of weird because my legs was bleeding. My lungs were working (laughs) just fine. Uh, Maybe it's not so strange. But then, it's got good pecs. You know, I inspired I, I, to have pecs like that one day. Um, Takes a lot of skill and training in the upper yard arms. One day I saw him wearing a, uh, uh, a uh, I guess you could call it a blouse, but it was just a top half of the blouse, and I saw some really what? nice underpeck. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah underpeck. High quality stuff. The guy does yeah. his decline bench presses yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, after all, it gets really hot in the Caribbean, so, you know, sometimes you got to wear just, like, half shirts. Right. Yeah, it's, it's true. 
Uh, why does the captain tell me his personal secrets? Well, I think it's uh, one of the reasons why I just get nervous about his attention. Like, why do you tell me all your secrets? Just tell me all his secrets, all of them, all the time. I'm like, uh, thank you. Great. Thanks. I don't know. Maybe he trusts me. Maybe it's because, uh, I mean, I'd like to think it's because I'm not in the pentangle. What if I am in the pentangle? I have not. I mean, he did tell me that one thing, though, you know. About. Uh, he, was, he, was, he said there was a, someone on the ship. Great pecs, under peck. Sort of interested in that. Uh, and was like, oh, well, that's why don't you just go say something about it? And I was like, well, I, well, I'm too shy. And I was like, well, you're, how can you be shy? You're like, you know, running about. And, uh, he says it's uh, an action. And then actually he said it was actually really more of like a, an hexagon. Right? I love hexagon. There's all sorts of people involved. Only well, doesn't he said he didn't want the, like, the governor to go and like, you know, he just want to keep this person safe and all that I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. Good what so I it's... know from math, which is not very much. Why don't they call it a sexagon instead of a hexagon? Well, that's a good idea. This is Probably Latin. Should. What? Hexagon, it's a Latin. Well, uh, technically. And what's sexagon, then? Yeah, yeah. Well, sexagon yeah. is Latin as well, but actually hexagon is Greek. But honestly, it's uh, just a giant uh, complex love polyhedral, which thank you for letting me bring uh, back that hashtag after a number of years. Uh, I have the shirt over there. I think it's important. I think it's important. Uh, polyhedrals. Uh, I should... Isn't that what the... the captain's parrot says? Poly... Uh, polyhedral. Also a cracker. Something like that. I think. Polywaterhedral and polywatercracker. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't know. I don't yeah, pay yeah. attention to the bird. Oh. Well, the bird's the word. Word I bird. I have to swap the bird. bird's poop. Well, it's true. Captain Boy's always swapping poop. Yeah, On the poop deck, true. as a matter of fact. That's why it's called that. Jump on. because there's poop everywhere. A rat poop. Well, anyway, uh, uh, I'll hand it over to you. Oh, it's me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, Timothy. Young Why Timothy. Why were you Arch. hesitant to join the captain's crew? Well, as I said earlier, my mother was killed <laughs> by pirates, and you're all the uh, pirates, yeah, and, you know, yeah. you don't want us to make anyone a bit hesitant, you know. Uh, understandable, understandable. No shame in that. Now, how are you feeling after you've come over your hesitation and joined us? Mm -hmm. I feel... Like, piracy isn't my long-term goal. That's a very valid understanding. Knowing what your long-term goals are good. Work to save in your money will get you back to your father, who's a lawyer in France. Yeah. I wrote the name down when I read it. Yeah. Oh, Pierre Jean-Luc Francois Van Damme. Yeah, that's right. I don't know about this Frenchman. Anyway, now I'm talking. So, uh, you're happy with us now, is that what I'm hearing? Well, at least willing to hang out with us. It seems the best option, yep. <laughs> All right, then. You have sworn vengeance against the French pirate. Why do you hate them? Oh, uh, this is a personal thing. It's not about the French. Um, Jean-Marie Duvois Valion is a scoundrel and a cheat. And he owes me money. Also, he stole from me. What do you steal? My pocket watch. Oh. But it's okay, I'll steal it back from him tomorrow. 
I stole it from him in the first place. Oh, well, good on you. Stealing from the French is excellent. I appreciate it. I steal from everybody, but this particular Frenchman. Um, this particular fair. Frenchman is a, you know, personal, personal vendetta. Keeps trying to flaunt himself. Doesn't work very well. Doesn't have this captain's ability to find the right lighting. No. Oh. That's what they say about the French. Also, their wigs are way worse than our wigs. Y'all wear wigs, that's your first problem. Oh. Wigs are great. Can powder them. Yeah. Um, so, I feel like this is the appropriate moment, now as we've gone through this, and because people need to go, we will do the final question, and because we have this timing, we can click the button that says, go to final question. Ooh. King William of England has offered pardon in exchange for turning privateer against the French. Do you accept? We each go around and give our own answer. And I think we should start with Billy, because I ended with the last question. No, I do not accept. Because in a perfect world, I'll just continue doing what I'm doing around all the books I care about. I have to accept it's everything I want. I'll get a pardon. I get to continue life on the seas, attacking the French with that French noble who ruined my family and get to have a coat brass buttons and perhaps go back home and yes I would absolutely and also uh, uh, King William's Protestant so absolutely uh, would absolutely 100% take him up on that offer he's also church reform not <laughs> well so there's no pope involved so it's alright uh, little bit by little bit I heard he was a Calvinist uh, Stephen well Again, not papist. Oh, I think it'll be all right. I think William the Third will probably have a long reign. You know, King William, a long, long reign that'll go on for just ages and ages, like just decades and decades and decades. I'm sure William of Orange, absolutely, probably like forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, maybe who knows how many years. They'll be running everything. Yeah, he's not going to die horribly. Um, Timothy. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, then against the French, I'm looking for my father, and he's French. Maybe if can I can just him. save up at least a couple more years, more, another year or two of privateering, I can woo Esmeralda, and we can go to France, and then puberty will hit, and I'll look different, so no one will know it was me as a pirate. And if I find my father, I'll take his last name instead. So then I'll be Thomasy Van Dam. Van Dam. Yep. yep. Well, I, I hope I don't have to kill you. That'd be terrible. I don't plan on sailing again after I get to France. Well, that's good. Well, that's good then. All right, then we're all right. Don't get pressed into some sort of press gang. I'll do my best. Maybe I'll become a lawyer. Like my father. Look, it's entirely probable that you will. I say fuck the English right off the edge of this bridge. I quite enjoy staying a pirate for the rest of my life. Butcher pirate. Bath. Also true. Putting holes. Yeah, you kind of have street trade you got to live up to. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's poor wash tubs. True. Poor wash tubs. It's Ever basement. seen a wash tub? Just like the holes stabbed all right through it multiple times. Doesn't hold water. 
doesn't hold water at all. But also dulled in life. Yeah, but I mean, you know, feel it. <laughs> oh. Anyways, that was our Captain Blood's Odyssey. It is a game that I wrote. You can find it on Itch. It is a Descended from the Queen game. Uh, you can check it out here in the link if you want. I have a couple other games that I wrote. They're all historical um, kind of ties, except for um, Zia's Recipe Book, which is a book game about uh, family, food, and memories. Um, we'll go around, let everybody say the things, and then I'll do my bit at the end, and uh, then we'll find somebody to raid. So why don't we start with Billy? Hey, Billy. Thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having me. Great to be back with my friends. Um, uh, yeah, this is just a ball. Always love creating storylines, you know, no matter how twisted they turn out. Um, <laughs> I don't think this was this was knotted. This was tangled all the hell. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, best yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, it was amazing though. Um, uh, I feel like. The first card where Lindy chose, like, all right, this is what I'm going to be like. And I just had all of the bodily reactions of, like, oh, no, no, don't do this. Oh, yes. Don't do oh, yes. this to me. It's too late. Yeah. It's done. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is such a great exercise. Thank you. I'm quite glad you enjoyed it. Uh, where can we find you? Do all this, the shilling stuff. Uh, well, I don't, I don't really do much anymore on the internet. I guess I'm, I'm still like, uh, strength saves, build of the forest. Uh, I think this is the only thing that I stream. So, uh, at come, the moment. come at the moment. So come, come watch this more, but first and foremost, watch all of the other people because they're doing more and you should watch that. Well, you should also come and watch us on Sunday next week when, um, hey, Arza, you get to make a determination about who's, if you're going to tea or not. Or, or I don't make that determination. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll, we'll, find, we'll find out. out. Someone's we gonna die. Hey, Maybe. Trooper. How you? Hi, I am I am excellent. I'm Trooper SAP. Woo -woo. Uh, and it was lovely uh, running around on the high seas, uh, which is, you know, a delicious fruit punch. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it also has extra vitamin C in it as well. And uh, it's always it's always lovely to uh, play in one of Prax's games. And I've done, I am looking at her itch.io page right now. And I've done one, two, three, or five of them as a matter of fact i'm only missing two at the moment um, um so that's very cool check check them out right so check them out um and uh you can find me today is sunday you can find me oh monday i don't think so right no on monday to yes, my no. knowledge no because know? i think simon's finishing the drive monday yes so you can find me on wednesday probably over at high shelf collective at 8 30 p.m eastern for uh, some cyberpunk red shadows of the red death and then on friday the rpg you can find me at is on my channel trooper sjp at 7 p.m eastern for the part three of my uh iron iron sworn star forged campaign crash jones space adventurer of the dry next barbarians and then i think uh saturday at 2 p.m eastern over at uh, over at balrog 1911 for some tales from the brinkwood and then you know Sunday back here, same bat time, same bat channel. Um, less piracy, more sieges. That's me. Mm -hmm. um, follow that. Follow all of those wonderful things. Also, if you've missed out on any of the Crash Jones adventures, I firmly recommend them. Go. It is hilarious, and I am here for all of it. Um, hey, Lindy. Thank you for being bringing all of the wonderful shenaniganry right from the beginning. <laughs> I am here for every moment of it. Thank you. Of course. That, that is what I'm here for. Hi, it me. Laugh, love, Lindy. I played Tomothy Smutley, the cabin boy, today and um, had, had, had a jolly good time. 
um, Jolly Roger of a good time, if you if you would. Um, I I really enjoy the Ascended from the Queen games and for the Queen games because they just they can go super serious, super silly, a mixture. They they're wild. You they can go anywhere with them, and I love that about them. Um, you can find me online uh, here next week for Witcher. Uh, I am a, a Witcher, and it's great sometimes. Uh, and then you can find me tomorrow night on my channel for Mondays in Alexandria, the new batch, where I believe we'll be arriving in Bazozan to do some investigating into this pendant that may be a vestige of divergence. And we are not responsible individuals, so we are probably going to get robbed. Um, and yeah, it's not going to be great, but it's going to be awesome at the same time. So check that out. Uh, every other Tuesday, we play Stargate Flames of Hope. That's really fun. And then on Wednesday, you can find me with Trooper on High Shelf Collective's channel for some cyberpunk. I play the tech with hot pink hair and very few cares. And that's me. Indeed. A wonderful, wonderful piece. People follow them, follow all of the games, do all of the things. It is great. Um, but hey, y'all, you know me. I'm at Deirdre Lemon on Twitter, or Praxagora Thesmia Euphoria is to see me around here on Twitch, Prax the Bard over on Hive. Um, uh, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for playing with me. Uh, again, you can check out the game and this any of the games that I've written over on Itch. Um, if you've missed out or there was any, it, when this channel blipped again, um, the VOD will, is clear. I've source recording here, it'll go up on YouTube, which, hey, by the way, there's a YouTube. It exists. You can check it out. It's pretty cool. Everything's in nice, neat playlists, and it's all there to make your life easier. Um, if you like what we do here and you want to kind of help us out, I have a Ko-Fi, and all of the money from that goes into helping keep the channel running, buy new equipment, buy art for the characters, do a lot of the things. Um, you can also check out the merch store, which exists and has some great stuff in it that you should maybe check out just saying and someone may have helped me design a, a particular design on that thank you lindy um for that wonderful uh assistance um but other than that uh you will like i said not this week on monday because simon's still driving but usually it's on mondays with you can find me and trooper over on uh wandering dm for um, Montreal by night. Um, and if you are not caught up on that, I recommend getting caught up because then you will understand the reference to hashtag Raphnos out. And uh, then I'll probably do a couple video game streams during the week, just randomly. Um, I also may start doing a couple more world building streams for a couple things that are going to be in development. Um, you can find us back here on Saturday for a Song of Agapia's Fortune. Um, the party is preparing to deal with the lineage problem. They've gone around the country, we've gone around the continent recruiting assistants. Now let's see what they're going to do with that assistance. Um, but then we'll be back here on Sunday. We'll continue our, uh, final season of Witcher Road's Home. Um, tea. You've been invited to tea with Alzor. I'm sure everything will be fine. Um, but that is it. Other than that, you should check my Twitter because I just post where I'm going to be and the fun, wonderful, fabulous folks like these fine people that I get to hang out with and tell stories with. And um, we should send some love out into the universe. And High Shelf Collective is playing Hyrule Historia. It's a cipher campaign. Um, and you know what, Hyrule, if the, words hi if the word Hyrule is on something, I'm going to go look at it because uh, I am an old school gamer girl, it's fine. Um, we should go give them some love, and uh, until next time everybody, bye bye.